Major setback for the local sports community for the first time in more than half a century. The Rose Bowl will not host a game on New Year's Day. KCAL 9's Joy Benedict is in Pasadena with the details. Joy, certainly a side of the times we are seeing a lot of changes. A lot of changes. I mean, we got to be honest. I mean, Southern California is not the uh, vacation hot spot. It typically is. We have nothing open and Texas still does have things open and that's a big factor on this decision. But nonetheless, we are live right now in front of the Rose Bowl and it looks like it saw its final football game of the season last night when UCLA took on Stanford because the Rose Bowl that was supposed to happen in a week or so has been canceled or I should say moved at least. But this is the scene that we are used to on New Year's Day and that's a ton of people, right? As every year tens of thousands of fans flood to Pasadena to field the Rose Bowl on New Year's Day but not this year as the College Football Playoff Management Committee decided last night to move the game. It is moving to Arlington, Texas for this year and there's Likely a lot of factors that played into that, right? The Rose Bowl was turned down on two appeals to state health officials after asking them to allow 400, maybe 500 spectators in the 95,000 seat stadium. Again, they were turned down. That would have allowed players' families to attend and, of course, some big money boosters as well. Nothing is open here. There's no restaurants, no bars, no wineries, not even for outdoor seating. Things that are, in fact, open there in Arlington, Texas. Now throw in the fact that there are some big name programs slated to possibly be selected. Selected for this game later on today, Bama, Notre Dame, Clemson, the Ohio State, and coaches made it clear they don't want to play here either, especially when there are other options. And we also know that the parade was already canceled as well. That happened earlier in the summer, months ago, as organizers were worried about having the volunteers necessary to finish the floats in the middle of the COVID pandemic. And many of the bands that were supposed to travel from other states and countries, they needed to make travel arrangements, and they just had to have a commitment that this city could not give them at the time. So although this is a very sad, not only for the fans, for the Rose Bowl, and of course the hotels that were depending on the business from these two teams, it is obviously necessary in the world that we are living in as our cases continue to rise. And as you mentioned, Amy, this isn't the first time that this has happened, right? They did have to cancel the parade during World War II, and they also moved the game then to North Carolina. I'll set it back to you. We certainly understand why, Joy, but it doesn't make it easy to swallow.